so students now we shall continue with the lateral compartment of leg so lateral compartment is otherwise called as peroneal compartment so it is called peroneal compartment it has only two muscles in peroneal compartment one is the peroneus longus the other is the peroneus brevis so this is peroneus longus muscle the smaller one is the peroneus brevis and uh, nerve supply for this compartment is by superficial peroneal nerve so nerve supply is by superficial peroneal nerve which is a branch of common peroneal nerve and lateral compartment of the leg uh, doesn't have its own artery so branches from the anterior tibial artery itself supplies the lateral compartment and uh, there are small unnamed veins which mo mostly drain into the short saphenous vein from this compartment so first uh, talking about this peroneus longus peroneus longus is a longer and a larger muscle and it is more superficial muscle so among these two peroneus longus and brevis brevis means short longus means long so obviously it is a longer muscle and it is a bipinnate muscle we can see okay so the origin of peroneus longus it gets origin from the lateral surface that is upper two thirds of the lateral surface so that is the origin and we can see it winds around the lateral malleolus so lateral malleolus is formed by the lower end of fibula so the tendon of peroneus longus you can see it makes a groove here which makes a groove on the plantar aspect of cuboid and it courses transversely across the sole and it is uh, to be inserted on the base of first metatarsus so that is about peroneus longus muscle next about the peroneus brevis you can see it is a small fusiform bipinnate muscle and uh, it is name indicates that it is a shorter than its partner longus is a longer muscle brevis is a shorter muscle in the lateral compartment so it arises from the lower one third of the lateral side of shaft of fibula and we can see it winds round along with the peroneus longus and inserts to the base of fifth metatarsal peroneus longus and brevis both are supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve which is a branch of common peroneal nerve so the actions of the peroneus longus they both are chief everters so eversion happens at subtalar joint not at ankle joint and it maintains the lateral longitudinal arch both this uh, tendons maintains the lateral longitudinal arch and also maintains the transverse arches of the foot to test uh, clinically these two muscles peroneus longus and brevis strongly evert the foot of the patient against res uh, resisting if normal the tendons of these muscles can be seen and palpated uh, inferior to the lateral malleolus so that is how we do clinical testing of peroneus longus and brevis so this completes the lateral compartment of the leg thank you